Hi second grade, it's Miss Giannino and I am really excited because today I get to review the number line strategy for subtraction with you and this might be, if not is, my very favorite strategy um, to use when solving subtraction equations. So I hope you're having fun learning math and reviewing math. This is something that we've already learned in second grade so you can just dig back in your memory and try and find that information and then follow along as we solve a problem. So I can pick any two digit numbers when I'm reviewing um, for subtraction. So my first number that I'm going to pick is 87 and then my second number that I'm going to pick is 45. So 87 minus 45 equals something. Now when I'm solving a subtraction equation with the number line, I know that I need to change my equation that's a subtraction equation into a change unknown addition equation. So I need a plus sign in there. So I switch it around. So when I switch around an equation, I take these two numbers and add them together. So 45 plus, we don't know this number yet, so plus something, change unknown, equals our bigger number, 87. Now I can solve with the number line. So I'm gonna draw it here, and then I'm going to set it up like this. My smaller number goes here, 45. My plus something is my jumping that I'm going to do, and then it's going to equal 87. See how that matches? The smaller number, the bigger number, and the plus something in the middle. <clears throat> okay, now it's time to do some jumps. I want to find a friendly number first. Friendly numbers make it way easier to add, way easier to jump on the number line. So I'm going to get to a friendly number. Now, I'm at 45 and I want to jump up to the closest friendly number. Do you know what the closest friendly number is? I'll give you a second to think about it. You're right, it's 50. So we want to get to 50. I know that 45 plus 5 more get me to 50. 5 plus 5 is 10, 45 plus 5 is 50. Now I want to jump up to the closest friendly number to 87. It's going to be right here. Do you know what it is? I'll give you a second to think. You're right, it's 80. So I wanna jump from 50 to 80. Now I can jump counting by tens because I'm at friendly numbers, right? So 50 plus how many tens gets me to 80? Well, let's count by tens. 50, 60, 70, 80. I counted one, two, three tens, or 10, 20, 30. So I added 30. So I did a five jump and a 30 jump. Now I need to get from 80 to 87. Do you know how many I have to add in that jump? You're right, it's seven plus seven. Okay, now my next step is to add up all my jumps. So I need to say five from here, and then 30, and then seven. So 5 plus 30 plus 7. Now I can break this up again. I don't have to add all these numbers together at once because that might be a little bit overwhelming. So I can look here first. I'll look at my first two numbers. 5 plus 30. Well, there's a friendly number. That makes it easy. 5 plus 30 is 35. And then I need to add 7 to that. So 35 plus this 7. Now if I don't know 35 plus 7, I could again look for a friendly number. So I know that 5 more get me to a friendly number. And I know that there's five in seven. So if I break apart seven into five, and how many more do I need to make seven? Five, six, seven, two. Then I can easily add 35 plus five is 40, plus two more equals 42. Getting right to the end of my board there. <laughs> all right, so 42 is my answer. So I jumped 42 all together. So 45 right here, plus 42 equals 87. So then I know that 87 minus 45 is equal to 42. If you want to follow along, well not really follow along, but if you want to have problems that go along with this strategy and you want to solve them in your math workbook, you can go to pages 65, 66, 67, and 68. This will be posted in the Google Classroom as well. If you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher. We're all happy to help you. Um, and then if you do solve these problems, please take a picture and show us. We want to see all your hard work. We miss you. We love you. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.